Hey everybody, so I just want to get one last shot of this before I actually go to airbrushing. This is pretty much how the kit is going to stay as far as uh, pre-paint goes. I've silvered up the snake and that's looking really good. I almost wouldn't mind doing it all in metals, but uh, I'll be going for something a little more natural looking. I'm leaving spot kind of, uh, I did basic black over this and then dusted it with some white. That was just basically to build some shadows into the whole situation. I, my, I, my goal is to uh, do some fairly light airbrushing to keep a lot of the base tones in there. So hopefully that will stay true all the way throughout. And then I definitely want to keep a lot of this silver going on as well. The tree doesn't matter so much, but you can see that it's got its shadows built into it already. Uh, what else? There's one other modification I made to this. So in addition to, mo to uh, magnetizing the snake here, I also magnetized Spock. There used to be a uh, tab on his foot there, two tabs actually, one at the toe and one at the heel. So I filled all that up, sliced those off, gouged the feet open, and actually stuck some magnets in each foot. You can see the round one there. So this was the first foot I magnetized, and I was only going to do the back so that he would actually stand a little better. But then I figured I may as well do the front too. In this case, with the front, I actually had a magnet like this. And you can see it's far too large. Uh, this is the last of this 1 8 <coughs> size magnet. So for this one over here, I had actually one of these broken in half. And uh, they still work if you break them. So I took that and I actually broke it into two quarters. And glued those together so they doubled up and then just stuck that in the foot. you can kind of see the shape of it right there in the lower section so uh, underneath and it's really strong I'm really glad the way this is you can that supports the entire weight of the base I don't think it supports it with the snake though let's see well yeah pretty much so that's a fair amount of uh, strength for such small magnets whereas well, the snake magnet holds the whole thing too so underneath here, I set the foot in place and then just dropped a magnet into there so it would find its natural resting spot and then just dumped a lot of glue and uh, baking soda on top of that to freeze it into place. And then I decided to cut the tabs off, fill all that in and basically did the same thing. Put the foot down where I wanted it, dropped the magnet in from underneath, glued that into place and that's pretty much what I did here too. So that worked out really well. Uh, Spock is no longer limited to exactly where he was, but he does have more of an ideal spot now. Can't quite stand on his own with one foot. But uh, previously with the tabs in this foot here, this back foot didn't really rest on this rock all that great. So now it can actually move him around just a little to get more of an ideal situation, or setup rather. So that's it for this. Uh, next time I should be airbrushing and basically what I think I'm going to do for that is just time lapse situation like uh, is my standard. So I can watch the whole thing at 5 or 10 speed and we'll see how it goes. So I got the uh, spray booth all set up which is essentially just a couple walls and the fan over here. And uh, I'm hoping that having this set up will give me some impetus to really go through with it and do it. It's a Wednesday today, so I may be able to do some tomorrow, a Thursday, if not, then a Friday going into the weekend. This will be done. And this will make my model for the month. So far I've done one model every month. We're in April. This will be my fourth build in four months. And uh, basically other than that, I'm concentrating on the Jupiter up there. So as always, thanks for watching. Live long and prosper.